recording here. Uh, yes. So. So, so, so. Oh, I need to change it to my own music here. Oh, yeah. You heard rocks, so you came? Nice. Nice. Yes, so. We're going to just be talking about rocks while I kind of dabble a little bit. Um, I'm going to be using mostly... Oh, thank you, Curious. 19 months, man. Uh, we're going to be using mostly... Age, what's up? Rocks. Uh, rocks. <laughs> we're going to be using brushes that are, are free or are in ZBrush. Uh, I don't have that fancy chisel uh, chisel brush that uh, all the cool kids use, but it's all good. It's all good. Okay, so I think uh, maybe I can put myself over here. We can new document. Drag this bad boy out. Uh, man, I need to save these preferences because I every time I turn that off and I turn thumbnails off. Can I store config? Cool. Yeah, so we've got um, we've got a few things we can look at here. Here we go. I'm going to lower my tablet a little bit here. Wait, what did you turn off? I'll show you. Hang on here. So in preferences, uh, I always turn off. It's more visibility stuff. So thumbnail, which is this thing in the top left here. You can see that. And then I usually turn off the um, the cam, cam view, which is that guy top right. Just I always forget to store the config, and I just turn them off. And then I'm like, oh, uh, maybe I should store those. But uh, yeah, so here we are. Hey, Rock. Well, maybe I should get some references as well, huh? We'll get Pure Ref up. So for people who are like, oh, do you use Miro or Pure Ref? I use both of them because <laughs> they have their, their own strengths, you know? Like, I, I like Miro because it... Uh, Cause you can like work together with other people and it stores like really large files and it's in the cloud. So that's always nice. Um, and you can draw on it. You can't draw on, in uh, pure ref, but pure ref I like for when you're actually working and you want to have this stuff like on this, on the screen. So I'm just going to go to Pinterest and just type in like rock, rock formation. Uh, the other thing I really like to do is early on, I like to ground the rock. So usually I'll just append. Uh, let's see here. I'll just append a uh, plane. You can see there it is. We just need to, oh, we just need to rotate it. I just bring this down. You scale this up, and if I turn on like a uh, polyframe. Uh, you can see the the geo, right? And then when I let's see here, when I go and divide it more, it's actually higher res, right? It's it's upresing or it's subdividing. But what I like to do is keep the subdivisions quite tight initially. So I usually I just kind of mask like this, and then uh, and then I scale this out. That way I've got like a, a big uh, plane to to render with later. Um, yeah. So let's let's just get back in here. We'll just deselect that. And you of course like maybe that's not let me see here. Ah, uh, it should be enough. You basically just want to have the, the grid where um, where it's uh where you have enough sculpt room, right? And I alt click between these. Or if I'm using the pen, alt tap to switch between these. Uh, some other small tips. Um, if we go to like brush, not our color, sorry. Oh, I'm gonna have to move this. Uh, if you do fill object, you fill it with whatever color is selected here. Default is, is white, right? But I think default, there is no color. So it always is changing. So I usually, I just fill these 
fill these with white just off the bat. I think you can hide the colors, but uh, I'm just so used to I'm just so used to I don't know filling them with with a color. So now I can't tell which one is which, right? So I just have to see up here. Three D Mentor, hey, how you doing? Good to see you, man. Uh, we're just sculpting rocks today because you know rocks. The uh, there's a challenge going on right now with the club. Uh, in January, they do a rock, rocking the new year, basically, or they rock in the new year with a rock challenge. Uh, one thing I really like about what they're doing, I'm just going to start grabbing these here. There we go. Is they're doing, instead of one a day, they're doing one every two days, which is really nice because it's not so, like, intense. Uh, the other really cool thing is if I go here, if I go import, you can see they um, they provide meshes for the 15 rocks. So that's one of the other caveats is you you go and you um, you have to work with what they've given you. And uh, yeah, just kind of go from there. As soon as I get my class on the line, I'll join. Just giving polygon is. <laughs> oh man. Uh, that's weird. It feels like perspective's not on, but it's clearly there. Um, th I actually really like to grab this this type of uh, rock reference because I like layers. But I don't know if you've noticed um, in games, there's a lot of like there's a favor towards certain rock types. So I'm just gonna kind of dive into like some of the some of the rocks that we don't see too often and. See, like, we like this whole, like, chipping and chiseled kind of layered look. This is a sedimentary rock, right? So it's it's layered uh, rock that's kind of built up over time and has, like, different properties, which changes the way at which uh, each layer kind of breaks down as it goes. It's like as it gets worn down. No rock shaming. Of course not. Um, oh, this is a good one as well. So this one is definitely next to some water. This one's cool because you can really see the uh, the striation lines from the sediment uh, breakup in the in the rock itself. Although it has a little bit of pitting, like the little holes in it, so it's it's likely volcanic, sedentary. Thank you, <laughs> sedentary rock or rock that's sedimentary. Toro, toro. Um, but yeah, I mean, all rocks kind of start uh, as magma, right? And then, uh, and then they they transition into uh, igneous rock, which is either like underground or above ground. And there's two different uh, two different types of rock, uh, igneous rock, based on top and bottom. Uh, limestone's actually uh, uh, igneous type. I think it's the one that happens underground. And when it meets either tectonic plates, pressing it together, or like high temperatures that compress it, you start to, uh, you it turns into uh, marble. I think limestone transitions into marble. Um, but yeah, a lot of the times you'll see in games that this is the type of rock that's favored is like this kind of layered sedimentary rock. There is metamorphic as well, which is kind of like this. Let me see if I can just find like a. Metamorphic rock's quite interesting because it's it's got a wobble to it. Wavy. Maybe I can just type in wavy, wavy rock stone. Oh, this is a little lighter, but this is an okay example. Let me run here. So this one, you can see the waviness in it is from like the pressure and the and the layers kind of getting bent and all the change and all that stuff. So in theory, you can make a mojito out of marble. <laughs> That's hilarious. So, yeah, 
the things I favor are these types of rocks where you can see the layers. I, it just, it's, it's visually interesting to me. And I don't know. I think, I think it, most artists kind of feel that way and they try and get that, that layered look. Yeah. Igneous is stones from high heat, but it transitions, right? Igneous stone makes up 95% of all rock on earth. And then the rest is, is, uh, either, um, sedimentary or metamorphic. And it's kind of a cycle, right? As you get igneous, it kind of breaks down and travels downstream, say through like water or wind and it piles up on itself. And then over time that becomes sedimentary rock. And then when that gets like pushed by tectonic plates or it gets like, uh, really close to heat, like magma or like deep, deep underground, it starts to warp and becomes metamorphic. Metamorphic eventually turns into uh, magma again, or it can. But yeah, it's... Um, <laughs> they can also skip around. You can get metamorphic that then gets exposed to the wind and then turns back into sedimentary rock. Yeah, all, all the things. But um, yeah, so what I usually like to do when I'm looking at this type of stuff is... Let me just screenshot this and look at this from a side view is sedimentary right you're seeing seeing these lines here that's like a common uh language that's happening so if you can find like a language that works for like describing what you're seeing in the in the shapes that you already have that'll help you uh be more informed as into making something that looks more realistic maybe i can just screenshot that as well let's see Oh, nice. It does. It did work. Cool. Okay. So, yeah. So thinking about, about those lines, um, some of the techniques I'm going to go through are just kind of how I would move these shapes around or kind of work on this, uh, geometry. I actually, until I get into sculpting, I'm not usually on the tablet. So I will likely just grab my mouse like a weirdo in ZBrush. Um, and we will, oh, I'm sleeping next to me. Um, I'll hide the ground for now. And we'll just look at this. And I'm going to, uh, I could probably do it with a, if I try and do it the, the fast, fancy way, you can like drag out a shape wherever that's at. Ooh, I got the new bevel stuff too. I haven't even touched that stuff yet. Um, I think it would be an I M M. No. I M M booleans. Uh, simple. I'm just looking for like there we go primitives. Yeah, and then we'll just we'll just grab like. I guess. I mean, this, this is fine. So I'm just using this to drag one out that stays inside the subtool. And, uh, if we go top view, uh, give me a second here. I'm going to go back to a clay brush, but I'm going to go in into the move. Oh man, it's been a while. There we go. So another reason I'm doing this challenge is you got to stay sharp on, on tools or, you know, you're going to forget. So if we're looking at these striation lines, there, I said it, I mean, it, I don't mind it. Once you get used to it, it's pretty good. Um, but, uh, let's, let's look at those lines that we we're, we were talking about. Right. And you can use those to your own, uh, your own ability to kind of think about the shapes and how that's going to uh, affect the rock. So I'm using control and then dragging this uh, again and just using this to kind of like empower, uh, give myself the ability to work on like some more primitive uh, shapes that help support the lines I'm talking about. 
right? And so maybe I can bring this down here. And uh, what else we got here? Oh, we can just shrink this down, bring it in maybe, and maybe we'll just scale this out like this. And I'm just trying to follow the the shapes here, right? It's kind of, it's a bit Minecrafty uh, right now. I probably need to do this, so. I press shift uh, shift F, right? You can see your polyframes. I'm just gonna uh, poly groups. I'm gonna auto group these. That way they have their own groups. And that'll allow me when I'm moving stuff to just control click on these and it'll mask based on the group. And then I can freely move these around. Give me a little bit, even just more control, right? And then I think, and then again, oh no. Wait, what? Is these not solid? This is bad. <laughs> this is bad. I'm like, why is... No. Close holes. Uh, where is that at again? Is geometry... Uh... Nice, nice, Tristan. <laughs> Fair. Do can you imagine if they had like a at the very top here? They just had a search, and you could just type in close holes, and it would just show you. I'm almost positive it's like right here. There it is. Nice. Oh, it did a. That's a pretty good job. That's kind of disturbing. Okay. Okay, I need to do polygroups again. Um, nice. All right. So yeah, this should allow me the ability to, yeah, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So this angle here, that's super strange. Uh, we're going to have to fix that. And we're probably going to do something like this. Oh no, I'm gonna need to configure, uh, edit, customizing. We're, we're bringing this up here, poly groups. We're gonna just control alt drag that up here, left, left click drag, and then um, preferences, enable. We're gonna, we're gonna drag this up here too. <laughs> there we go. So I just auto group again real quick so we can continue to work with our masks. I hold alt to be able to, f you can see the lock here. When you hold alt, it allows you to move this around and, and position this how you need. So like if I want this end to stay where it's at, I get this pretty close to it and that'll allow me to just kind of pull this in. Um, anyways, we're kind of, we're getting, we're getting there. Um, I'm probably just gonna leave this as it is now. And I'm only really focusing on this side. I think if I were to look at this side, maybe I should, uh, maybe I should just scale this out, outwards like that. Did you see there's some skewing going on too? No, not like this. Going with it, we're going with the skew. It's fine. I'm just gonna bring this, uh, like run with it boys man super weird okay let's uh let's go with this this looks crazy Yeah, can you imagine if they added that type of search feature to to ZBrush? Man, that'd be that'd be a game changer. That's probably the single most like useful thing they could add. I think.
Mm. Don't judge me, my red wax life. Um, let's see here. I'm a big fan of this one. This is like my favorite green metallic. Okay. Oh, wow. We got RGB on there too. I'll turn that off. So we're not, so we got all of these, right? And I'm just gonna, we're bullying this boolean boolean but not in that way um where are we at dynamesh and so if we melt that together you can start seeing a, a plane on there right so you got these planes to work with and control like swiping the back will just re rerun the the dynamesh so the next thing i will do and I'll be honest, this cube thing, this is pretty experimental. This is me just trying to like think of other ways to to make this happen. Um cuz like this angle here, that's not very that's very strange. Uh so we're going to have to figure out how we how we deal with that. But I wanted to zoom in on this and just kind of start shaping stuff. So, oh man, this is <laughs> What? What? Did this just like get stuck? There it is. Whoa, that was weird. So already looking better than my rocks? What are you talking about, man? Come on. I'm just going to put this to the side here. I'm going to put this right above me just because... Um, it gets in the way of the brushes pretty easily. Um, okay. First, I'm going to look at clay buildup just because I want to be able to push some, some shapes down and then some other shapes out. Uh, but I want to try and keep these, like, sharper, sharper edges uh, kind of maintained. Uh, that's not... The, the thing that scares people i think a lot when they're doing rocks or like making these rocks like this is uh screwing it up just commit to the to the fail it's gonna be fine you know so first thing we're gonna do i'm gonna press n or no yeah no comma my brain uh we're gonna go to brush we're gonna go to trim and uh trim smooth border i'm gonna use this to kind of like oh my god i'm gonna use this to try and click <laughs> Um, I'm going to use this to try and smooth out some details. So like if I do this, you can see it kind of scrapes away cause it's sampling from this normal. I just do that every once in a while. Uh, if you do it inversely, it'll pull it towards you, which is kind of interesting. And then you can use this and just kind of push it back when you want. So that's kind of cool. Um, but uh, don't be too precious with stuff. Just kind of go for it. You know, if it if it looks like a bad idea, it might be. But got to find those accidents. See, and we can we can use that uh, to kind of push this out a little bit. And just keep swiping that around. And just shave this away like that. We'll try and keep this kind of a, a flat uh, flat face. Maybe I'll make it parallel with this one. Let me just swipe again here. Okay. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can smooth. Uh, if you press S and you see smooth, you've got smooth uh, peaks, valleys, and then just regular smooth, which is over here. Um, I like the valleys early on because you can smooth. If you hold down shift, now your, your smooth is now valleys. You can smooth in the inner areas here without uh, damaging the corners, like the sharp uh, extrusions that are sticking out. As you can see, I'm like rounding these these areas out. Uh, and then we'll just keep 
we'll just keep kind of chiseling away here. And see, the nice thing about having the these like angular shapes in your sculpt from the beginning is they allow for you to to kind of like scoop things back somewhere close to that range when you're using the trim smooth border. Uh, if I hit comma again, so here's some of the brushes that I am using um, outside of uh, of ZBrush uh, Orbs brushes. Super good, super good. Uh, this Orbs Flatten Brush is like the Trim Smooth, but it's really aggressive on like sticking to the shapes. I actually really like this one if you want to like see. I can just pull this shape forward or like really clean this clean this up here. Uh, it does have the RGB on if you're doing an alt for negative. So you'll start painting, which is so just turn that off. I'm not sure that that must be there on, on purpose. I just don't know wh how how I would use it, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm sure it's there on purpose. But yeah, so see if I had like pull this down like this and you just swipe that so you can start cleaning up edges when you want to. But let's, let's start digging into this, these shapes here. Eric, how you doing, man? Um, we're going to do a navel here as well. And I'm going to bring, so I double tap on the left side here and bring the brushes out, or they're already out here. What am I doing? Um, you can just drag these out as well. So like if we want trim smooth border, we can drag it up here. Maybe I'll just put it up here. And then uh, orbs flatten, uh, clay build up. What else we got here? Brushes. Can we get the cracks in here? Yeah. There we go. Man, it's so weird. It's like freely. There we go. Kind of lining up. Dude, they're like slowly dropping on each other. What else do I want from this uh, set here? Extreme polish maybe slash curve oh this could be this could be a good one just let me select it <laughs> okay this is weird it's all like way over here now what is happening That's so strange. Hang on, I gotta fix that. Orbs crack brush, most used brush in the history of rocks. <laughs> Probably. All right. But let's just let's go go kind of crazy now. I'm just gonna kind of just go for it. If you have questions, just ask me uh, in chat. Do you have any advice on that dark cider stuff? Uh, one thing I could never get right is sculpting is how clean edges on surfaces are in stylized meshes. Yeah, we we can get there. I mean, r right now we're looking pretty simple with our with our geo, right? Um, maybe it's time to turn up the dynamesh a little bit. Let's do that. Um, I'm just gonna kind of just scoop away some stuff and. Let's see. Let me just do this. And then maybe we can smooth that out. Oh, yeah. The other thing is trim smooth. I like to at least use a square here. There's some really nice alphas out there for people to use that allow for really understanding uh, or really getting those kind of like chipped looks that you always see. So I don't. I don't want to go much further than what you're seeing here yet. Um, what I will do is bring in like crack lines that I can use to uh, help me define and separate some elements. This is a little soft. Which one is this? If I press L, yeah, it's just, hmm. 
get that intensity up. I just shrink this. It's got uh, some. That's weird. Maybe I'll. Maybe I'll just use the standard. Yeah. So the reason for this is like, when you when you zoom in and you look at some areas, they get kind of cracky like this. So there's some focal shift. Focal shift. How you doing, Cap? Um. Yeah, you're talking about this. Tightening that up. So. Yeah. But see this this piece sticking out here. This is this is an opportunity. This is uh, we gotta seize the opportunity here. Oh yeah, in our in our smoothing, we need to switch back to uh, uh, we need our other smooth in here as well. Oh come on, uh, there it is. Poop. Oh yeah, <laughs> if you you see this, skip this note next startup. You can also press shift and just switch, and then you won't get that prompt. And whatever you're holding shift down, that is what becomes your. So like, if I want trim smooth on my shift key, and then I want clay build up, I can do clay build up and be like, cool, 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 and negatives, and then hold down shift to do the the chiseling, and then alt. Uh, just chisel this down. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, we need to get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Um, yeah, okay. Trim smooth. Happy New Year. How you doing? And I really like the problem I have when I do rocks is I get really excited to just start chiseling, <laughs> you know, it's brutal. It's brutal. But you can see how like, okay, this is starting to look like something we could do uh, this kind of fractured look. And it dips in here, right? So these are these are those details that you want to kind of try and get early. Just kidding. Um, and you want to find like where where it can break. You see, there's like this, and then it kind of goes goes this way, and kind of does. It, and now we're running into another problem where uh, you start to get these repeating patterns where the shapes are very similar in size. So you need to watch out for those. See, I'm, and it's because I'm breaking from the same side as well. It might be worth just doing doing like a, a deep cut here, something like that. And then this, this looks like it could come back up. Uh, let's see here. Anyways, you can kind of see where that's where that's heading. There's some shape language that's following the same kind of flow as this, and then also you've got some some breaking and, and chips going on in there. What's the difference between uh, damp standard and orbs orb crack? I mean, I have no idea. I'll be honest. Like I don't really look into the brushes too closely, which is probably <laughs> I could probably benefit from understanding these brushes more. The brush I think I understand the most is the trim smooth border. Uh, damp sander look maybe a little harsher. Yeah, I think I think it could. Yeah. Um, let's uh let's just get the orbs flattening going on in here. Let's put a square off on that as well. kind of chisel this out so orbs brush will tighten up those edges for you 
right? So you can bring this bring this uh this plane out here. It gets super weird and don't um don't get scared when it does weird things. The other thing is if you see it's it's affecting another side, you can you can attempt to mask that as well. All right? And then just mark you out in the background to just kind of get rid of that. Um But I think that's the thing I really like about ZBrush is it allows me to just kind of go without worrying about uh, what what is happening with the geometry and I can just kind of run with it. Uh, trim smooth, there we go. So let's uh, let's focus a little bit on these shapes here because right now they're they're really sharp which is leading to like some kind of strange some strange language going on here Oops. okay this needs to go the other thing here is uh dynamesh by default has a blur of two just lower that to zero you're going to get less like uh, artifacts happening in like the little crevices there. Uh, I'm going to turn the resolution up first and then do this because once I let go of that, it runs the algorithm. But you can see we're already starting to get some. Oh, what did I? Why? That was weird. Okay, let's just kill this thing here. So I'm going to go really broad. We're going to go big brush. We're going to use this this brush to our advantage to get get some some chiseled effect. See, when I grab the normal from this and I pull this back, you can see how, like, now I'm, like, kind of scraping away. That could be useful as long as we're following, like, the same uh, angle language. Right? So we're, like, looking at this, this flow. gonna smush this down we don't need that smooth this out that way the chisel will grab it a lot of the times I'm just kind of looking at the shapes and just kind of going for it it's basically just looking at those striation lines and then just following some rules and just exploring like there's not really a right answer to like how these look as long as you're kind of following some rules The moment you have something that's not following the rules, you'll start to see it, right? So, like, of course, down here, but let's uh, let's go in and, and turn the plane on, and then maybe you'll see it doesn't look so atrocious. <laughs> Do you find that you look at reference less when you're sculpting? Uh, yes, but um, that's not necessarily a good thing, right? You should always be looking pretty closely at. Uh, you should always be looking at references. Why is this not? Oh, that's weird. Somehow I keep locking it. No idea how. 
but the rules I would follow is striation and a common breaking process. Like make sure that uh, you're following your your flow. Chat greater than reference. <laughs> I won't I won't argue with that. Oh, I wonder if I can use like the trim smooth outwards like this. Cause see this the way this is ending looks really weird, but if I start blending it into into the rock here. Do this and then just get it to form with it. We're going to be in business, man. Let's see. Maybe this is like a little chisel here, a little dip in the, in the rock. And see, it's just, it's a matter of just exploring these shapes and trying to figure out like where they take you. <laughs> Nothing stays this sharp, right? In, in real life, it usually tends to get pretty, uh, pretty broken up. Happy little rocks. Yeah, when you get in the flow and you forget about it, oh man, it happens. The other thing you can do is, uh, so when we're looking at details like this, I always wonder like, okay, how would you, how would you do that? Maybe we can use, maybe we can use an alpha, right? And just kind of like, blocks block some some of these like negative spaces here maybe chisel them back like this or so you get these like sharp corners um let's see if i can find a good uh a lot of the times it's it's these workflows and like okay how does that work uh but if you tap in the background right you invert these but if you tap Inside the mask, you soften and you top, tap uh, outside, or sorry, if you hold down Alt and tap, you'll sharpen. And then maybe we can, maybe we can softly remove the mask so you get the, some gradients in here. Right, and then if you invert that and you, I mean, I guess you could, you could sculpt these down right and you you think about like okay these are these are layers on a bigger scale i think this could be pretty cool let's let's try let's do something else here it's like let's go bigger and then i just cut it down and make it smaller <laughs> what is happening Let's just like, let's just go for this. See, it's like now I can, now I can grab these and use the, the normal direction of them to like cut into. This is that magic of this freaking brush. It's so freaking powerful. See, maybe I want to pull this up, up like this. And then we'll chisel it back here. So everything is following this like the way that the rock is breaking. Man, there's so, <laughs> this is what is so addicting about rocks, I think. See this area down here? I wonder what we could do down here.
I'm going to see a line. Just sketch, man. Just asking questions, man. It propels conversation. What, what's... Can you can you go over the mask gradient again, please? Yeah, so I mean, if you hold control, right, you can mask. See, other nice thing too. Let's 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 go even further here. So if, if we if we mask this whole area out up here, right? Um this if I invert this, I can sculpt in that, right? And then it, it retains its shape. Uh you can softly like build gradients and it's kind of like soft selecting to a degree right so maybe maybe we'll go even softer here um but you can like alt click this after going into the move then alt rotate this out and then just kind of pull this out so if you needed to you could get that overhang you're looking for right and then you use like a trim smooth and and clear that all up now you've got this overhang doesn't have enough geometry you just Re remesh it again and just kind of go just go from there so you can do a, you can do a lot man it's it's really powerful hey shiro thanks a lot man dude you've gifted 58 subs i really appreciate it man are you using a mask pen for the gradient no i'm just holding down control and painting i mean i could do i could do like this right and then move this around and then do that and then remember if you hold down control and then tap on the object it'll soften for you and if you hold down control and alt and click you can tighten up the edge so if you want the mask really sharp but no i'm not uh i'm just holding down control for the mask pen i guess is technically what i'm doing i think that's what you were asking right But there's those sharp edges I think you were asking about. Like how do you, how do sharp edges form? And they just you can you can do this and kind of tighten up all the the little edges here cuz from back here that's pretty sharp, right? But I'll be honest, like extruding that piece out doesn't really fit the Holy cow, that's like way back. Is there such a thing as too high res when sculpting rocks or do you want artifacts? Um, I mean, there is, there is such a thing as too high, but if your performance can handle it and you're okay with that, go as high as you need to in order to not have the artifacts. I think I am a little too shy to go too high with my geo. So it ends up being that problem like you're talking about right now. So I need to like be careful with that and actually just push further myself. But uh, let's let's find an angle that we're gonna be working with. This might be good, and then with the plane. take that plane and we'll just move it down so I'm gonna set this now I'm gonna work with the plane really quick uh, let's see here it's gonna kind of you need to go into ghost mode uh, transparency just because this is gonna get in the way the geometry Just kind of bring this up. Let's see where we're at here.
See, I just want this build up here. Look for areas where like it can build up more and then just kind of scoop it back a little. It's so funny. It's it's just a feel. You just kind of go with it until it looks the way you're seeing in your head. Oh, for renders, this is huge, man. Cause like, look at, like, look how much more engaging that is. And if you subdivide it enough, you can just start. Like if I, uh, let's see here. Let's let's divide it. A few more times here so once we get this mesh far enough along you can then like alt drag uh hang on here control drag sorry and just bring this down here right oh, what is that and then scale it right and you can you can move this into a into a place where it works where you can reuse it You just have to find a good spot for it. Like, even if it's, like, just little pieces. Because, like, oh, man. When I <laughs> – I'm seeing some stuff now, which is which is good. When you start seeing things, that's a that's a good sign. So you can see this chunk here. This looks like something was here and broke off, and now it's here. Right? So likely – likely I could probably dupe this and then move it like this. Maybe put it here and um, let's reset the rotation of that. So now we're planar. And then we can scale it down. Maybe it's, hmm, like maybe it's way out here. Right? And if that is broken far enough away, let me think. There might even be some smaller pieces out here. Yo, dude. Gifting gifting away. Eric gets one as well. I've blown your mind ten times a stream. Nice. That's awesome. Cause like there's some there's some logic going on here, right? Uh what we need to do though is we need to separate these because I'm concerned these are gonna boolean together, which sometimes you want, right? But uh let's go. Let's go sub tools and let's split by uh, split by masked. There we go. Okay, so now we got these two, and we can switch between them. So now knowing that this is breaking off from here, we need to like imply some more. Uh, what is that? Why does it shrink like this? I'm not. I'm not a fan of that. Document size? I know, but why would it just change size on me? I must be pressing a button combo that that does that. Okay. I'm about to irritate a bunch of people. Are you ready? So I've got that mouse now. <laughs> I know you can zoom in and out, but what would the hotkey be for that? Top right? Yeah, this. Somehow I'm changing the the zoom. Oh no. Okay, I can't. Oh my god. You guys ruined me. I have to uh use a What have you guys done to me? No, I have to use a tablet. Oh my god. Okay, let's um let's trim smooth. What one thing I'm not liking is how round this is. You want to make sure that that's um following following an angle that makes a little bit more natural sense. You don't usually see a an angle that um rounded in nature. Like this angle too is very strange. So we'll have to we'll have to figure that out. 
This was a terrible mistake. <laughs> I'm just going to bring up the um, clay build up. That is what I wanted. We're just going to want this stuff to build up a little bit in here. See, this broke off, right? So it would expect the dirt to be more lifted on this side. Because it displaces the dirt. Correct. We'll just do this to kind of scoop it back down a little bit. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta get rid of that. <laughs> Let's hide it for now. Uh, okay. Let's get on with this. It's 9.08. We gotta finish this in an hour. Also, I'm listening to terrible music right now. I need something that's going to just hit. Okay, there we go. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, let's go. So let's let's solve some we're going to be rendering it from this angle likely. So we need to watch out for this rounding here. So we're going to do something maybe more straight here. We need to look at this area here. Um this area these are too sharp. The way that this goes like this is too soft. There needs to be some more like extreme breaks there. I'm just gonna copy this. We'll paste it in here just so we have that as like our own like midpoint uh, feedback. So first, let's let's get up here. We're gonna go super broad. working trim smooth maybe uh, uh no trim smooth is good i just want to try and get this scooped away here What is going on? Is Boolean off on this now? Or Dynamesh? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, the only downside with using a square brush is you start seeing the square, right? So you got to be really careful 
where that's happening. You can also, if you're having a hard time figuring out some shapes, you can go in and grab this orb brush here called Rock Detail. Uh, you can just drag this out, and it'll kind of give you some shapes to think about. You can turn up the intensity if you need to as well and invert it. Uh, this should help if you're trying to like figure out like what you're looking at. You can really turn it up too if you want to. Like this could be good for like layering on top of this depending of course so you could do this too and then uh, maybe we mask these out here invert that and then drag that out ah uh, see it's it's breaking got to be careful maybe uh in a negative way we can Yeah, Kaze will get you with those puns, man. You gotta be careful. Uh, yeah, let's keep let's keep trucking along. I'm getting distracted here. Oh yeah, see that's cool. Fill that gap in there. Ooh, sick. that there maybe we can find something for it Yeah, dude. Starting to get that layering. That's nice. Hey, thanks for the follow. Let's see, I'm trying to flatten this out. Let's bring this out like this. Maybe we'll invert that. Oh. Okay, we got a not enough geo in there. softer uh, brush in here I don't think we really see the side so maybe I can crush that down real quick oh yeah Oh, you see this area? Oh my gosh. Down here, it's just asking for like changes. <laughs> it's just asking for changes. Cuz I'm like I'm seeing I'm seeing shapes that uh yeah, it seems like Maybe this maybe this keeps going down like this. think if we take this area in here 
just mask it out. We'll just invert it. And then uh, we're going to just move. We'll just push this in like this. Looks weird in some areas, but we'll, we'll figure that out. See this, this looks strange how this meets up. Might need to uh, alt uh, fill that a little bit. There we go. Just so it's not so hard edged. Okay, go under here, flatten this out. A lot of flattening. Let's get in here, flatten this. Scoop this up like that. Nice. You guys just chilling? Let's, man, we might not even see that. <laughs> Maybe we can. Let's switch to this rock for a little bit here. We need to make it not look so similar to the other. Oh, look at what is happening. Why? What happened? You guys seen that before? Man, it's been a while since I've seen that. I think that's permanently borked as well. So cool. I wonder, uh, I wonder what happens if you... Well, 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 this rock. <laughs> Dude, look at that. What the heck happened? It's like it took all my changes. And just destroyed them. <laughs> oh, we don't want to divide it. We'll just dynamesh it. There we go. Okay. Get wrecked, Rock. Let's see. Let's see where that has to... I think these look different enough now. Should be all right. Famous last words. Hey, thanks for that follow. Do you know what's a good depth for, for meshes so that Z depth for brushes do not does not mess up on the other side? Usually happens to me when I'm making stuff like wooden planks. Oh, turn on back face masking. Yeah. Uh, uh, depth, right? No. Where's that at? I always forget. But yeah, back face masking. You want to turn that off or turn that on. Right here. Auto masking, back face masking. So 
So if you have that on, you shouldn't run into that problem unless it's really thin. If it's that thin, you might you might have some issues. One thing I notice is when I turn it on, um, it can act funny with sharp edges in some scenarios, so watch out for that. Oof. Can I? Sick. Where are we at here? I think it might, we might be getting close to like uh, detail time. Okay, how am I gonna do this? So this line should definitely follow the same line as this if I'm going to do this right. And it might just be a matter of, I mean, hmm. Yeah, we might be onto something. Let's just isolate this area. I can't do a uh, a dynamesh while I'm in this state. Again, just shape exploring. Ooh, that's kind of cool. But yeah, it's all about these accidents <laughs> and like how they how they turn into things that you can actually use. Hmm. Just stumbled in here. Bannon, how you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> it's a fascinating rock sculpting is uh it's addicting to watch. Cuz like I'm just I'm riding the wave, man. It's just kind of happening. Whatever shows up in the sculpt shows up and I'm like, "Ooh, that looks cool." And then I hold on to it. The area is bugging me. I don't really. I just kind of keep dabbling on on that area until all of a sudden I see something, and then you just stick to it. Sometimes too, you can just kind of like scrape, oh, scrape away.
You just explore and explore, and then you find stuff, and then it's like an adventure. I had to draw so many 2D rock assets, so seeing it in 3D is makes me want to learn how to do this. You draw rocks? What do you what do you do? This is magical. How you doing? Good to see you. We might be approaching detail time. Let me see here. Switch to this. Maybe we should save, huh? This side bugs me. I'm just going to quickly just kind of... Oh, dude, look at that. Like, I don't even know what happened there, but it kind of looks cool. Seen another shape that looks weird. See this, like, s swoopy shape? That needs to go. And like getting really sharp and small like this, not a good, not good. It would have broke, right? So let's make it look like it broke. There we go. A little better. Okay. This silhouette as well is kind of this edge here or this this side is kind of weird. Let's let's see if we can break that. Little that's better. Definitely better. Sometimes I just sit there and push on a spot and just keep pushing it until it until it gives. And then sometimes you go too far and you're like, "No, nah, man, what were you what were you doing? What were you thinking?" I was thinking freely is what I was doing. Okay. So this is we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm making it the rock's fault. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so silhouette-wise, from this view, it's that's pretty interesting. We're not getting a separation between these two pieces right now. I mean, I think if we really want to do it, we need to be viewing it from this angle, and I just don't want to deal with that angle. Um, this whole back area here is haunting me. Oh, actually, 
let's let's smooth this out first and just flatten that even though you're not going to see it it's just going to make it easier to to move around okay yeah dude this is good this is going to be a it's a good idea i can feel it soften that up invert Oh, oh, my God. Okay, a little better. Okay, so silhouette now is push it just a little bit. Surprise posture check. <laughs> huh. The what is that one? You talking about the trim smooth border like this? The one I'm using right now. Oh, you mean other alphas? Yes. Um. These ones don't necessarily help us too much. I mean, you can get some nice noise out of it. But uh, you need that. There's a there's a quite a unique shape uh, brush that I've seen. Polygon knows what I'm talking about. We've used it on the stream before. Cough. <laughs> That that shape does wonders, especially when it's spinning. So this area is still not really, still not feeling this. Yeah, it works a little bit better. The only thing that I really like about this asset right now is this rock here. What is happening here? Okay. Let's let's see what else is going on here. I'm going to take this one. I'm just going to duplicate it. Remember, I was saying I feel like this needs to stick out a little bit, like there needs to be more out here. Like maybe. God, come on. Lettuce and tomatoes. Just exploring. Look around here.
Oh, this is kind of nice. So you can see we can get the same language peeking up through the ground here. That's all we need. <laughs> Yeah, maybe we should spread these out further. I'm just exploring <laughs> and I'm not, it's not feeling, uh, mm. Hola. Ollie, how you doing? I feel like I was onto something, but Okay, maybe if I maybe if I just adhere to the rule that I kind of set for all these rocks and just leveled this out. Let's just do some moving as well. That helped a lot, I think. Bray, what's up, man? This rock is like an onion. It's got layers. Let me move this out of the way. This is our, if this is our frame here. Oh my God. We only have 15 minutes. Okay. It's go time. It's go time guys. Gas, gas, gas. Go, go, go.
I think this is my shot. I think this is what we're going for here. You are are you satisfied, Govan? Hey, have a good night, Paul. Thanks for uh, hanging out. Look at me cheating. Okay, we're up to seven subdivisions now on the terrain. Let's uh let's get some let's get some information in there, huh? Is that a bit? This is not nearly strong enough. Okay. Fine. Turning it up. Too much. Okay. Now, let's get some textural stuff going on in here. Really low intensity. Um, let's get just some breakup on the surface. And what else we need? We're going to refine some of these shapes in here, just really minor areas. That way we get some like sharper hard uh, areas of uh, breakup. Okay. Um, what are we looking at here? Damn standard. Nice. Okay. Some really small stuff here. I'm going to just try and define some shapes. Just so that they're kind of popping. This actually does quite a bit if you're careful with it. you can get rid of those little tight like weird wrapped areas see that This area is a little soft to be trying that, but it really needs to break somewhere in here. There we go. Found a spot. Maybe in here. Make this really small. And we'll just do. Dude, damn Sanders freaking OP. Cause you can use it to, to chip stuff as well. Like if you if you sharpen it up enough. 
we can do uh <laughs> we can ultra cheat and just grab some like these like uh chisely really turn them up <laughs> that's funny this one uh noise can be pretty strong pretty powerful in the right areas um we're running out of time You can see up here it looks pretty low res by comparison of some of the areas. So we just need to grab an, a spot and really try and refine it a little bit more. Man, I'm really hesitant to uh, Dynamesh this again. Uh, I think it's okay. Because what I want to do before I get up there. Okay, well, I'm going to undo that down there. What we're going to do is... We're going to increase the resolution further. Ooh. And we're going to use Orbs Flat and Brush just to really um, kind of drive this these details home. I'm going to get rid of that alpha as well. This is probably one way to get your sharp, sharp edges. Um, you just have to be really careful. It's definitely sharper up there now. Hmm. All right, where are we at here? Ten minutes. Let's uh I need to make some better alphas than what is in here for these these like rock brushes but uh these are really good if you want to like you know if you want to break up the this is how i've been doing it you can break up the terrain right maybe some smaller Pretty nice, man. Uh, is there another one in here? Yeah. Oh, come on. There we go. It can be pretty risky using this one because it tends to look pretty repetitive fast and it does not overlap nicely. So you gotta be careful. But we need those we need those little micro details. We gotta get the, the small stuff in there. Would this be used as a hero piece? I mean it depends. I think what you would do in production is you would build three of these. This would be three assets. And then all the work around it would be the terrain work, right? That's a good question, though, because, like, in what, what reality are we looking at this here?
Man, I want to spray this down, but it's just too crazy in t intensity. And then it doesn't work when you lower the intensity. But yeah, this would be one, two, three, and then these like smaller rocks would be another asset or two, and then from there you could you could build um, you could build these formations more reasonably, right? Hero rock sounds like a genre. It, <laughs> it does. Oh, that's funny. Uh, where's the... I think if I use damn standard and then really small. Maybe we can... Maybe we can scratch this a little bit. You're getting some directional. Cause like, remember the, the more you have like these, these horizontal lines that make sense between all of the, the geometry, the, the better you'll be. Oh God, I'm projecting it, uh, incorrectly though. Right, because then you get those, and then you can do things like because that information's there, you can then scoop into it. So useful. See now, all of a sudden, that that looks much more grounded in like the layering and and like how everything is interacting. I wonder if uh, this area would be really good to just get a bunch of that in. Yeah, dude. Because, yeah, see from, like, way back from here. Yo. Yep. Yeah, I need to get some, some rock, uh, like, pebble pack alphas and stuff like that just to drag out. Because, like, shape-wise, these are very stylized and don't really follow the the kind of look and feel uh, that we're going for but we've got five minutes so what i'm gonna do now is we're gonna look at how i would render something like this i think it would do maybe like this angle let's let's see what this looks like render best it's not too bad Print screen I'm just gonna grab grab this area and uh, here's the one from the other day from yesterday just gonna paste that in here let's uh let's do this. this on top Oop. hmm Looking at composition. You'll never know. They're going to know. 
You won't know. So what I'm doing is uh, I'm trying to move this more to the right. That way, when I click here, you can see it's it's a little bit more on this line. That's that's more pleasant, definitely. They might know if they look real hard. We won't let them look that hard. No way. No way. Uh, okay, so we've got that render. Let's uh, let's grab something like let's grab this one. Pretty cool looking. Hmm. I don't know, man. It's not it's not doing it for me. Let me find maybe some other renders. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a good one. To do a render, including the underground part. <laughs> we don't show the underground part. Using light shot, it saves the previous dimensions. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, I really like this render. This kind of does the detail I like already for me. So I don't really need to do too much there. You see? Mm. Turn that off and maybe... Ooh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Sick. Uh, where do I put that? I always want to put it down here. With the ZBrush to Photoshop plugin, I think. Yeah, yeah, you could. I just would then have to take the time to set it up and <laughs> put it on. So yes. Perfect. Nailed it. Oh, really, Ghost? Mm. I should post it like this. Think that's a good idea? Yeah. I think it might be. Uh...
This is pretty interesting. Render it like this. Grab this. And then um, you can see that. You can grab the, the separate channels. And use those as mass. Render seems normal. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, this, I think this works. I think we're good. I think we're, uh, I think we're good to go. We could, uh, copy this, paste it, uh, do like a, like a blowout. And then push that stuff down and then do like a blur, Gaussian blur. I'm just going to convert this to a smart object first, and then we'll do the blur, Gaussian blur. Turn this up. We'll screen it. And then we will invert that. We'll just kind of put this. And then we can go back to the Gaussian blur and, uh, blur and kind of push this down. And then really crush the so it's just barely happening mm. yum okay i think we're done i think we're done hope you guys enjoyed that what do you think the turn out okay I'm pretty happy with this. Turn late to the party, but love it. Hey, how you doing? Better late than never, you know? Nice to see you. I'd recommend you change the light, light shot settings. Yeah? What do you think about these? <laughs> these always look kind of cool. I wonder how this would look. What layer mode did you put the normal map on? I didn't use it. It's just sitting here. Oop. No, but I, I, yeah, I didn't end up using it. But I did, I was just showing you, like, if you go here and then you go to the channels, you can grab the directional information from it, which is pretty nice. The screenshot program, man, I never use that. Where is it? Lightbox, render set, best fast, render booleans. Ooh. How did you how did you screenshot and put it in Photoshop? Literally just pasting it. <laughs> That's all I was doing. Just straight up screen grab. <laughs> the lazy way, I guess. Oh, light shot. Yeah, you're talking about this. Will you do more rock sculpting for the challenge? Yeah, I, I would like to do all of them. I'm still behind. I think I need to do the third one and then I'm caught up. But um, yeah. Cool. So it saves the capture area. You can do that. That's sick. So if I do this and I have it exactly the same, I can go into the settings of this. Is that what you're saying? 
and I can change the uh, options. Keep the selected keep the selected area position. see here and then if i print screen oh my god that's freaking sick ghost how did i not know about this that is awesome so if i print screen it's always the same frame <sighs> control shift s is great too what does that do dude that's awesome I need to save this, by the way. Anyways, I've got to get out of here. But uh, thank you, everyone, for hanging out. Growl, actually, yeah, the Windows default snip is actually uh, actually quite good. Orcas, bro. Oh, it's okay, man. Uh, if you go back and watch the VOD, you can see this from start to finish. But... Uh, Cool. Well, I'm like hella zoomed in. What is happening? Hope you guys uh, enjoyed that, though. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm doing another focus stream. It'll either be another rock or um, or we'll be working on unwrapping and, and texturing the, the alien scene. But uh, thanks, everyone. Uh, I will talk to you guys later. Have a good evening. Peace. Oh yeah, don't forget to join the Discord if you haven't. Hang out with us, it's fun. Trust me. Oh my god, I can type, I swear. <laughs> later. <laughs>